the, the new government being elected in 2024 has very strong ambitions for, for climate targets, for net zero, um, a lot of this dependent on its ambition of achieving a clean power system by 2030. Um, this is obviously a very ambitious target. Industry welcomes kind of the government's ambition and we look forward to helping to deliver this. But equally, there are a number of things that the government can do in order to help us achieve those targets. And our members are, are at the forefront of this. Some of the really big challenges that are coming up are around things like how we have a grid that is decarbonised, is running off of um, distributed technologies, things like smaller scale solar um, and you know wind that's more widely geographically spread than previously. We need to be able to take that electricity from where it is produced to where it needs to be consumed. And we need to be able to build this stuff to a schedule that allows us to meet the government's targets. And there, there's a number of concerns that industry has around some parts of this planning legislation that, that could slow down the rollout that we need of new infrastructure. Um, particularly, this is the case around new pylons, new electricity networks. You need pylons, you need wires, and these will become increasingly vital, particularly when you have a system where, for example, offshore wind, a lot of that is in Scotland, a lot of it is consumed in England. So how do you get it from Scotland to England is, is a really big factor in this. Also connecting to the national grid has been a kind of big issue for industry going back a few years now where you can be in a position to build, you know, say a, a new wind farm, but it could take you up to a decade to actually connect that to the national grid and allow people to actually start using that electricity. So this is really a, a massive issue. If everything that was currently in that queue was built, then we did reach net zero for the power sector incredibly quickly. There's there's far more capacity in that queue than we actually need, but it needs to actually be connected. And as a result, we just need faster processes. We need uh, government regulation and government policy that allows us to unblock some of these really sticky issues. I think we are in a good place fundamentally here. We have pretty much all the technologies that we're going to need to roll out at scale for us to be able to reach net zero. We basically just need to build. We basically need more electricity and we need to ensure that we're bringing along society with that change. Yes, I'm optimistic. I think we just need to, to have clarity and direction from government. <laughs>